I'm in jail. Didn't. Didn't. We're on. What? Oh, hello. What are we doing again? Exports. Oh, yeah. It's time for exports. Again. Hello and welcome to the second edition of Ike Sports. I'm Trey Trudeau. And I'm Champ Kind. Whammy! No, he's not. He's Denton Russell. I just saw on command, so I changed my name. But I'm sticking with it. Let's get to the sports. All right, so basketball season's finally here. After last season's run to the state playoffs and a final record of 21-2, and two, the team looks to have another great season. We'll take down a Cam Cam with the story. We all know that Eisenhower made it to state last year after their historic regular season. But the real question is, can they make it back this year? You know, I think we've got a lot of uh, guys back who have had that experience and, uh, you know, who are hungry to get back there. You know, a lot would depend on how we do during the season, but obviously, you know, our, one of our goals is to get a sub-state championship again. Yes, I do. Because we have the team to do it and we have the coaches to do it too. We don't know where we compete with all the other teams, but I think we got, we got a pretty good shot like everyone else. After losing many incredible seniors from last year, including Trayvon Evans, Daniel Southworth, and Matt Morris, Many may ask, who could be some team leaders this year that could replace them? Um, I think um, Bailey, Kit, and myself, and the rest of the seniors all need to step up as leaders since we lost all of our senior leadership last year. You know, Bailey Strunk, this will be his third year starting for us, and you know, he played quite a bit as a freshman, so you know, I'm hoping he can step up and be a leader. Kit and the Daddy has, has you know, been in the program now, this is his fourth year playing with us, and. Uh, you know, I'm also looking for guys like Sonny Brown and, uh, you know, Matt Pyle, who's just a sophomore. I think he could, he's ready for a breakout season. And then I think our, our X factor will kind of be Brent Smith. You know, I think not a lot of teams know about Brent Smith, and he's a senior, a 6'6 senior, who I think can really, uh, you know, step up and do some things this year. We have four seniors, Kit, Bailey, uh, Brent, and Michael, and them as well as some other juniors uh, should be leaders this year. Of course, every game is a big game in high school basketball. But what are some of the biggest games for this year? May South, because no one likes May South. <laughs> and uh, probably Derby, because they're pretty good. I'll say a lot of out of league ones to prove like to some of the reporters and stuff that we're not just like a out of skirts school. We can compete with some of the bigger Wichita schools. Um, some of our biggest games is of course May South, because they're our rivals. And we also play Derby and Mays. Even though Eisenhower basketball hasn't been around for that long, we have saw many alumni go on to the next level, including Zach Bush, Trayvon Evans, and Daniel Southworth. But what about this team? Can some of the players from this team make it to the next level? You know, I think we do have some guys who can play at the next level. You know, we've got some young guys, you know, like Matt Pyle, who, who definitely will have a chance to play at the next level. But, I, you know, Bailey Strunk, uh, Kit and the Daddy, those both guys who should have opportunities. Uh, Brent Smith, you know, at, at 6'7", you know, they're always looking for a, a post player and I think Brent is someone who who you know is just now continuing to get better and better and better and I think his his best days are in front of him so I, I think we have some guys uh, you know who will play at the next level um, you know it, it all depends on how we do as a team you know college recruiters become college recruiters come to games where teams are winning so everybody looks forward to something while they're playing a sport this is what these players are looking forward to I'm looking forward to the spring held trip it was the best part of last year, so I'm looking forward to it again. Probably how we're going to finish out some of the tough games. Like, not all games are going to be blow Like, a lot of our games last year were a blowout, and this year we're actually going to have to grind it out to the end. So I'm excited for that. Just to have fun and not have a lot of pressure on us this year because everyone thinks we're not going to be as good, but I think we will. For Ike Sports, I'm Cameron Bradley. Thanks, Cam Cam, and good luck to the boys' basketball team this year. Guess what we have next, Trey? What do we got? Basketball. We already did basketball. Girls basketball. Who last year made it to state as well and finished with a record of 16 and 7. Oh yeah, I'll take you down to the court for this report. <laughs> hey, that rhymed. Uh, we're hoping to go back. I think we have a really good chance to. Um, our league's pretty difficult, so we're going to have to play well the entire season to get a good seeding for our sub-state, which will help a lot. Hopefully we don't have to play Bishop Carroll again. We have more talent, I think, than we did last year being able to play. We have we have a 6'2 girl this year, Brooke, that's going to help out a lot when it, we play teams like Leavenworth that have like five people who are over six foot. I think we're, we're just about the same team as last year. 
and most of us know what we're doing, and that's a pretty big goal of ours. I think we have the capability of going back. Um, it will be a little tougher this year, but I think we can do it. After many underclassmen received substantial varsity playing time last year, Coach Blazy stressed to us their importance this season. Uh, last year they were a, they were a big factor, um, helped us give us a lot of depth. Uh, foul trouble didn't hurt us as much. Um, you know, injuries we weren't as concerned with. They were able to come in and give us some quality minutes um, without losing a step. Uh, this year we're not quite as deep, um, but those, those kids that contributed last year I think are going to have to step up and be a more consistent role for us this year. Following last season, the girls look to stay humble and continue improving throughout this season. I know we'd like to make it further than the first round at state and have a better record this year and hopefully le win league this year. Obviously going back to state and um, I mean last year was the only year that we went to state so it would be cool to do it again. Definitely going to state and beating Mays would be awesome and just having either a better record than last year since our schedule is harder this year. To win our league, we've never won league before. Uh, to win our sub-state again, go to state and beat Goddard, that's always a good goal to have. Following last season's success, the Lady Tigers have some tougher competition this year. We've got Salina Central, uh, Mays, who got uh, state runner-up last year on the, on the schedule, possibly meeting Wichita South, who won 6A state last year. Um, so it's you know coin toss as far as uh, any of those. Um, you know, but those, those three are probably the, the main three on our schedule. Andover Central uh, is probably going to be right up there with them. Andover or Andover Central. Uh, Jalen Agnew on Andover is really good, but as long as we can shut her down, we should pretty good chance we'll win. And over Central, they have a lot of guards who are really fast and it's kind of hard to compete with that. Definitely Mays. They are stacked with everyone from the post to the point guard. Andover and Andover Central for sure. They're our biggest competition in league. And we play Mays this year. Mays is really good. So they run up last year at state. So hopefully we're going to beat them. And Salina Central is pretty good. Being such an undersized team, the girls rely on their heart and speed to get them through practice and games. Um, Blazy tells us who's the threat and how we need to like guard them. Like he usually has Emily on their more important like ball handler because she's like the best defender on the team. Bryn usually guards the taller person who's a bigger threat because Bryn's tall. So, and she's pretty good at guarding posts. Um, we focus on rebounding a lot because since we're smaller, we have to get good positions so we can get rebounds. And uh, we're really fast, so we have to run the floor really well. That's uh, one of our bigger advantages. Basically, every, every day they go in, uh, they work hard. Uh, they, coming from where we, we came, not losing a, or not winning a ball game that first year, they, they kind of have the never give up attitude, and they've continued that as we've, we've learned how to win. Um, and it, it really doesn't matter who they're going against, they're going to go hard. Um, they just, it's the type of kid that we have. Uh, hopefully, that's the type of kid that we continue to have. For Ike Sports, I'm Trey Trudeau. That was pretty good, wasn't it? And it was good, but let's calm down a little bit. All right, I'll try. But while I do that, how about we get into your story, which, of course, is about wrestling. He's coming into this season with big expectations after last year's season. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Wrestling. With being in such a tough league, the wrestlers will have a lot of tough competitions this year. Our Competition-wise, um, overall, our league is pretty tough. So, I mean, you know, uh, of course we'll face Goddard. We'll face Arc City. Uh, Andover uh, had some tough guys in there, and Andover Central is. So I would say those four guys are definitely going to be very tough for us. Probably Goddard, just because they're literally always good. Uh, probably Andover. They were pretty tough last year. So we'll see how it goes this year. Excited for that one. This season's expectations are high for the wrestling team. Hoping to go farther at state. Hopefully pad up my stats a little bit. Uh, we're always looking for state title. Um, you know, just the way the kids are working in the room, they're working hard and stuff like that. Um, and then just the fact that we are, for probably first year, we'll be able to fill more of a full team with having 14 weight classes. And in the past years, having five to six kids that we took to varsity makes it tough for duels. And um, so as far as being able to possibly have 10 to 11 guys almost filling out those weight classes. We expect a lot more and hopefully have a chance at those actual duels and then make it a little bit further in tournaments. So. A lot of experience mainly uh, because the first two years of anyone's wrestling season you know, for high school is going to be tough and so mainly just experience and getting 
to know, you know, the weight class because I'll try to stay at it next year. And so a lot of experience, hopefully go to state, uh, do well in regionals. Eisenhower has hired a new assistant wrestling coach who has been accepted by the team. Uh, coach Cerna, um, he's doing a great job. Um, it's great to have a guy just fresh out of college uh, and, and was able to wrestle that much and just bring, be able to bring a little bit of that college atmosphere into our room and be able to pick up the pace of what some of our kids are doing, I think is great and he's doing a great job for us. Hoping he brings in some good new style of wrestling, bring in younger talent, hopefully. I think it'll be exciting to have someone fresh out of college to help us. With being such a young and small team, every wrestler has to step up and become a leader. We have three seniors, uh, Ditton Russell, he, he'd been with us though, and he's uh, doing a great job. Uh, Ian also is doing a great job for us. Uh, but we have a lot, of, a lot of guys that just kind of, you know, uh, maybe not so vocal, but lead, by, lead just by example. Um, and I think that's a great thing. And I think the team as a whole is just trying to uh, step up completely a, a, as a whole and I think that's doing a good job as far as just overall leadership. Everybody plays a sport for a different reason. This is why these wrestlers wrestle. Well, I wrestle because I love the team. I love working moves and just getting into it. Wrestled all my life. Couldn't think of my life any other way. That's what I do. Just because it's exciting and it makes me happy and I love wrestling. For Reich Sports, I'm Den Russell. Den, that was wonderful. Thank you. No trade. Thank you. Well, that's all the time we have for the second edition of Ike Sports. I'm Trey Trudeau. And I'm Denton Russell. Tune in soon for our exclusive look on our bowling squad. And good luck to all the winter sports teams this year. Wrestling, you! Yeah!